Hello everybody, this is the Intoxicated Pig, and I'm here to bring you another Minecraft video. Now the first thing I would like to mention, it is now the new release, Minecraft 1.1. They added a whole lot of stuff. My favorite feature that I have found so far would be the Pirate Speak. Arg. Arr, Pirate be 100% right when speaking. Sure hope so. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play by myself. That does not... Okay. Let's just ignore what I just said. Uh, Minecraft's Swashbuckler. I guess that is, um, pirate speak for survival mode. Sail the... Oh, I said sail the sea. That's funny. Charting your destination. Building your grubby land. Is, that, is it offending my land? What's wrong with my land? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well. Here we are back at the house. Got the basement underway. But, you know. Now that it's actually morning. We're gonna actually go ahead and finish our quest to get wool. If I am certain, yes. What we're gonna have to do first, though, we're gonna have to make a pair of shears. To do that, you need two iron bullions, normally called iron ingots. Put them in a diagonal formation. Boom. Shears. We use this on sheep by right-clicking, and you get instantly uh, two to four wool it was. But now that sheep now eat grass to regrow their wool, therefore they will uh, only drop one to three wool, since they will actually grow their wool back, which I find a very nice feature. Took advantage of that previously on my regular single player world. Th thinking maybe I should show that. I don't know. Find out. First, we must continue henceforth with our quest for wool. Now we're gonna need to find sheep. We got uh, shears. I think, yeah, they're still called shears. Oh, what's this? Cutlass of stone, pickaxe of stone, shovel of stone. Pretty much everything is of stone since it's stone. Not much is that different. Hmm. I just realized that because we're in a. <gasps> yes! Red and brown mushrooms, that is what we need right now. In case we ever run out of food, we can go down to our last ditch effort and make mushroom stew. That, you just need a wooden bowl, which is... Eh, I'll show you that later. But, for now, we have to find a sheep. Darn you, cow! Get out of here. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, the main reason why we are after wool is so we can get a bed, and, ooh, looks like we got company. Uh oh, we got, we got nasty company here. Oh, oh no, oh no. I'm gonna have to lay low. Holy! Didn't see that coming out, did ya? Oh my goodness. Oh my... Oh. Okay. Well, this may be our first death during the day. That would be pathetic. Oh no. Oh! Thank you, creeper. <laughs> wow. Yeah, hello, spider. I see you too. I'm gonna ignore you. How is that skeleton... Oh, it's in water. Let's kill this spider. Now we can get spider eye. Ow! I didn't see that coming. And string. Or <laughs> rope. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Rado flames. I had just had to see that. I had to show you guys that. Got chicken over here. Nice little chicken. Nice little chicken. There we go. Now we got some bones. If we ever find a dog, we may be able to tame it. 
Roses. Used to make red dye. Plus, they look pretty. I have to say that. Ugh. Step it up. What's in here? Ooh. Oh, iron ore. Yes. Let's keep an eye over there. I know it's like pretty dark for you guys over here, but I'm gonna try my best to light it up. Okay. Oh, this doesn't doesn't look like there's much in this cave. It's just a bunch of nothing except that two iron ore. That's not too bad, I guess. One thing I would like to mention is that the numbers really shrink down when you're using a different language. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if he intended that. But also, even the font itself is shrinked down. So, yeah. Let's hope we can find some sheep. And if we do, hope we're not lost. It's happened to me so many times where I actually find a lot of wool, but then I get lost. Come on, sheep. No need to hide. Oh. I wonder if that's a generation. Ah. We're going to be seeing a few generation generating errors because of the new update. Biome code changes pretty much every update. So, you'll see like random cutoffs on islands or even in the oceans. It's pretty weird. Ah, that was lame. Ugh. Oh, guess we're heading back. Quest for wool. Take one. Fail. Unless we can find a sheep on the way back. Is this clay? No, that's just sand. Oh, that's clay though. <laughs> Hello, clay. We're gonna do a clay. We're gonna smelt it into bricks. That way we can make our chimney. Ay ay ay. Uh, I think this is episode four. I don't know. Pretty sure it is. Anyway, meh, I'll get the rest of that later. <sighs> if only I knew which way was back. <sighs> Chickens. I always make me think it's a creeper until I hear the buck buck buck. Buck buck buck. Buck, buck, buck. Aye, aye, aye. Enough with the buck, buck, bucks. I'm gonna throw this egg at you. Do it one more time. Alright, that's it. Here, give me, let me get a good shot. How do you like that? Got hit with your own egg. Yeah. You just witnessed the chicken get egged. Oh, yeah. Uh, got some more friendly pig. Get some seeds for now. Can't find wool. We're still gonna have to get a source of food. Quiet, cow. Nobody asked you, cow. Hmm. I should probably make a boat for this. There's a lot of islands over here. Yeah, you can you can make a boat. Pretty cool. Uh, well, at least we know where our house is. Yeah, there's island over here too. Maybe there's sheep. It's getting awfully dark though. Uh, it's nearing the end of our video, I think. Is it? Wow. 
That went quick. I. Well, I guess that concludes this Minecraft adventure. Quest for wool? Fail. Maybe next time. Oh, and by the way, this is one of those, uh... Oh, oh, dang it. I was trying to come up with an example. I don't know, is it flat? Yeah. No. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, that's gonna have to conclude this... Minecraft adventure quest for wool. Nope. Anyway, anyway, see you next time on Minecraft with the party pig. See you then.